no parent ever wants to think about, but if someone did try to abduct your child, would your child know how to protect themselves? We all want to keep our kids safe. And a local gym wants to help parents do that. Studio Gear is now offering self-defense classes. You see them there for children and teens, classes that also cover bullying. And what to do if you were being followed by a stranger. Joining me now are the owners, Jerome and Arlene, and martial arts expert, Al Marshall. Thanks for joining us this morning. Uh, as we were talking about, you don't want to scare your kids, but you want to, you know, tell them the reality of the world. How do you break the ice that, you know, you need to be safe? Well, this is kind of go over uh, some safety tips, much, le much like if you were uh, talking about the fire uh, situation or, or um, safety, um, traffic safety or anything right. like that. Just uh, prevention, uh, uh, safety awareness, and then you kind of ease into the conversation about what would you do in an emergency situation where uh, a, an adult was, uh, was to approach you or if you were getting into some kind of uh, difficulty with an adult. So let's talk about that. Let's get right to that. An, an adult approaches a young child. What do you guys suggest? And I guess we have her here uh, to role play. She's in second grade, Lovely seven Sarah. years old. Lovely Sarah. And uh, you, uh, what age do you, do you begin talking to your, your child about this? Well, our program, excuse me, our program actually designed for um, smaller children ages 7 through 12, and then we have the teen program, which is 13 through 18. So uh, I don't know if there's an uh, age limit or not. Uh, as long as they're old enough to understand, I think every parent should make sure their child is aware of uh, dangerous situations the moment they're stepping away from them. And you mentioned to me that education is the main thing. It's not necessarily mm -hmm. all about, you know, fighting back. There is that element, but there's also the element of, of of knowing what to do and, right. and having it's, that mindset of, of... It's the educational element. Um, Jerome and I both feel along with Al Marshall that education is the key. Mm -hmm. um, if you teach a child to be prepared, what to look for, what to do, what not to do, um, then they're already armed with that. So hopefully they never have to go to the self-defense level. Let's go to the basic steps. Um, I guess we'll role play here. I'm the, you know, someone, the bad guy approaches a Sarah. What do you, what do you tell her? Uh, number one, you, you don't talk to strangers. Don't let strangers approach you. Mm -hmm. Use a six-foot rule. Uh, keep, your shot here. <laughs> keep, your, keep your distance uh, at least six foot away. If a, an adult approaches you, if you don't know them, they're a stranger, um, back away. Uh, if they try to grab you, um, you yell, holler, scream, help. Uh, you're not my parent, that kind of thing. Yeah, Let's sure. see you guys do it. All right. Uh, first thing we're going to do, uh, Sarah and I, is going to uh, demonstrate if an adult should grab the child. And so. First thing is to drop to the floor, and the reason why the reason why she's doing this is because uh, a, a child is harder to drag than mm -hmm. if they're on their feet and they're and they're being uh, and obviously causes cold. commotion, causes attention, attention to the situation, and it's and it's much harder. So the first thing she does is kick the shins, yell, scream. Stop! Not my father! Stop! Me, not my parents! And then she's gonna come in close, wrap her legs around my leg, grab, put head to the side and then she's going to pull forward, and as I lean down to grab her, then she... Ah, very good. <laughs> and then she gets up and runs. Okay, that's, that's, that's great advice there. Sure. What else? And also, also um, there's an event where uh, most of the time when someone falls to the ground, a child's kicking or uh, trying to get away, they can get their leg grabbed. Same thing happens, and it's time you run away. And I grab your leg, start kicking. I grab your leg, scoot in again, still scoot in, grab, grab, same thing, pull, and then run. Okay, run away. Run away. Yeah, and that is so scary, and it's, it's such a sad reality that this is the world that we live in, and, and that we have to teach our kids this stuff, but uh, hopefully um, it, will, it will save a life. We thank you guys for joining us this morning. Absolutely. Thank you for us. If you're interested in, in getting your child into these one-on-one -on -one classes, there's Saturday, September 9th and 31st at Studio seven. Gear. At, at 7? Yes. yes, September 7th. September 7th. It's just $3 for kids and just $5 for teens to register. You can email Arlene and Jerome at Studio Gear at yahoo.com for more information on protecting your child. The next hour of the morning show starts in just one minute.